Hello guys, uh, this is part 4 of the solo wild camping video series, but it's not the final one, so I just wanted to clarify that up front. This one will not have the sunrise or the sunset on the Devil's Mountain. If you're here just for that, I suggest you skip to the final part, but if you would like to see the other side of the mountains, the, the Slovak side, and also some nice uh, music edits I did specifically for this part, and then just keep watching and enjoy. You can appreciate how big that mountain is. Babia Gura from here. And I think this one, this may be a small Babia. No, Babia Gura. But I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this is, yeah, that's the right direction. So it probably is this one. Or maybe not. <laughs> Funny, I met a guy on top of the mountain. He was making pictures, and it turned out we're actually almost neighbors. <laughs> He's in the same estate as I do, as I live. Um, <clears throat> well, it was a success overall. The mountain climb uh, took some nice pictures. You've probably already seen them on your screens if you've managed to watch thus far. I'm going down the green trail on the Slovak side already and it's beautiful you can see the Tatra mountains as if they were floating in the air because there are clouds climbing already from the valleys the sun is high uh, just take a look yourself see it that well on camera but in real life it's just awesome it's quite hard, hard to describe how quiet it is here and also how beautiful this is just completely wild things fall and they just stay this way Maybe we're in this giant game, like a, like an NPC character, you know, in an open world playground type of game, like GTA or The Witcher. And when I do that, I just wonder how really detailed this game is. This really looks like a game world, look at this. Makes me wonder what is over there or over there. Oh. <clears throat> Funny thing is that in the open world games, whatever you play, you tend to explore and try to find some nice things. 
whereas in the real world, which is the biggest open world game you can ever experience, at least in our times, you don't. You just walk the same path to work or school every day and uh, you don't do that many new things. You don't really meet people like the way you do in the games you do. And I don't mean shooting them or stealing from them, just mean like normal things. You don't experience people or places, you just do your stuff. Just strange to me, you know? But they do the same thing, I mean, I don't know. This is some kind of uh, water reservation site. There are rivers and streams running along the path. The road was, uh, the trail is so gentle and nice that I didn't really need to stop. Uh, I just wanted to hop along. But since I knew there was a lot of water on the way, I decided to dump my additional reserve from that bottle on the side of the road and also hydrate so that I have some inner water supplies as well. Now since I did that I obviously ran out of water so I had to resupply and this is seems like a good spot. Too bad I don't have anything like a, like a gravitational system where I could just you know screw one thing on top of the other. Oh there you have some guest bug on the camera. Anyway um, too bad I don't have any kind of... The trail will end soon, probably, and there is a gap between it and its next part. It sort of stops in the middle of somewhere. There's a road up ahead and a small village. I'm a bit hang... Actually, I wasn't hangover. We drank quite a lot yesterday, but somehow... Maybe it's the vitamin C. I'm sure that's the vitamin C. If you drink vitamin C, you will not have a hangover. Idyllic, isn't it? I'm moving here, I swear. Someone had grand plans for their house. Look at that, artificial river bank and artificial, what, pond? Shit, and there's a river still flowing around it. I decided to abandon the road, although it's not that busy, but I just hate walking on asphalt. I'm just gonna cut across these fields. Hopefully no one will shoot me or let the dog loose on me. The ground is uh, quite swampy in here, so I make use of my sticks and walking sticks and I just put them in the ground because, well, I don't want to be waist deep in mud. Now, since I don't exactly know where I'm going, I'm going to go off to the right side, a bit to the east from where I think I should be going. So when I come up against the road where the trail should start, I will know I will have to go left. Otherwise, if I head straight for the point I think I should be going and I miss, I don't know which way to turn. This way, I make sure I actually find the way later on. That would be fun to jump from.
Now that is a young bull. He doesn't have horns yet, but he sure is not looking away. <laughs> Man, this trail sucks. It's on a road. And there are actually cars going by here. Heavy trucks as well. And maybe that is the trail where it branches off. I don't know. Hmm. Because the last signpost was at the crossroads there. I don't think you can see it from here, but it's obviously before the road splits. Not after, just so that it's not too easy. That's a bit weird for us. I took the path and I tell you, you have to be pretty self-confident that you're going to go the right way because <laughs> that path just ends in nowhere. I've been going through the terrain for a while but I made it, the road is here Look at the size of these trees It would make a hell of a Christmas tree I found the red trail but I needed to take a break Oh man, my feet hurt. I'm basically in pain. Look at that shit. That's from the belt. It's two o'clock, and um, yeah, I still have a way to go. So I'll be there, like again on time. <laughs> I'm uh, making progress. They say Slovak people don't go, they don't like going to the trails. And I must say, no wonder. If all the trails are like on the roads, like this one, I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to go either. But on the other hand, they have some really nice trails like on Pivsko and beautiful. This would be such an awesome camping field, like a tent base or something. If only they had water in here. It would be so amazing. You know, like pitch your tent beneath the tree or somewhere in between. Look at this one. This <laughs> fork. And these two twins. And look at the size of these. Jesus! We're going into the bear territory. Have to be careful. Obviously everything is forbidden because we are going into the park. Not the reserve yet, it's just the park, but it's still protected. Now, this is it. If you look at the yeah, and the last position on the third erection plate, you will see Babia Hora. Three hours, final approach. Okay. I was kind of hoping we would leave the road, but it still goes on. Uh, I don't know when it ends, but it's not gonna be a moment too soon when it does hate the roads. But to be honest, for uh, these are also bike lanes, all these roads that I was going at. So for a bike road this would be wow perfect. I must admit that the um, this side of the mountain is also pretty epic. And if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> that big thing up there, that is Pilsko. 